Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new League of Legends video. So it does seem like a lot of you really enjoyed my video about a week ago where I talked about the 7 must pick or ban champions. And I'm really happy it did so well because it is something that I've wanted to start doing for a very long time and not just only focus on mid lane for these kind of videos. But since the response was so positive, I decided to definitely start doing this for every single patch and here we are for patch 6.9. So if you guys still enjoy this and want to see this for the next patch, let me know by simply pressing the like button. Button. This video will also be made in collaboration with Pro Guides, so definitely check them out if you have not yet. I'll have a link down below. And they also have a cool new feature where you can chat to high elo players almost anytime you want. But with all that out of the way, let's get started with the must pick or ban champions for patch 6.9. First on the list is going to be Malzahar, and I don't think it should be any surprise as to why he's here. At the time of making this video, he has not yet been nerfed because there are supposedly hot fixes on the way to tone him down a little bit. But I will not be surprised if these hotfixes don't really change a whole lot and he's still considered to be very very strong. But either way this guy has one of the highest win rates across the board whether you play him in the mid lane or in the jungle. He has huge damage in his kit, his W multiplies way too fast especially if you're jungling you can clear the jungle camps with absolute ease, his ganking potential level 6 and over is very very high, you can easily solo dragon at level 2 and solo rift herald at level 5 and really there's just so many reasons I can go about as to why he's so darn strong, but I do feel like most of them are quite self-explanatory. So Malzahar, without question, has got to be the number one must pick or ban champion at the very moment. And here are the recommended runes, items, and masteries for playing Malzahar, mainly in mid lane. Next up, let's move into another jungle champion that is still surprisingly very strong, Kindred. Now last patch, Kindred was my must 100% pick or ban champion and I have to say she's still very high on that list. There was a lot of questions of people asking how strong will Kindred be in this patch? I mean Devour is being removed. But luckily for her, the new jungle item is honestly just as good. Because now with this new jungle item, Blade of the Rune King and even her passive, she'll have an insane amount of percent damage. And it'll be to the point where not only will you be absolutely shredding any tanks that are still left in this meta, but you'll also be shredding squishies. Now she did get a little bit of nerfs to her early jungle clear speed because her Q reduced cooldown has been increased to 4 seconds level 1 from 2 seconds at all ranks. So this definitely slowed her down by a little bit, but this is only just the first few levels because you leveled your Q first anyway, so you'll get it to 2 seconds again very quickly, and she's still an absolute powerhouse mid to late game. Her ultimate is still extremely annoying to deal with if you're facing it, and for the most part, Kindred is still very much Kindred. In my opinion, definitely a must pick or ban for patch 6.9 still. And here are my recommended runes, masteries, items for playing Kindred currently in this patch. The next champion we'll be talking about can be played successfully in several roles and that has to be Fiddlesticks. I just recently made a full gameplay of Fiddlesticks in the mid lane and I have to say he did feel really strong. But he's probably even better in the jungle because his new E ability makes clearing the jungle extremely quick and it's also very good in the mid lane because there's 6 minions plus 1 is a champion and the bounce is 7 times so it'll hit everything one time. His passive will also make ganking much easier and especially for Fiddlesticks in the jungle to go from one camp to the other. Overall, the changes at first weren't all that big, but when you put it all together and you realize how much it can really impact his gameplay, I think Fiddlesticks is becoming 100% a must pick or ban champion. He's also really strong to a lot of the meta champions, like for instance, Nidalee was really, really strong and she's still actually quite strong, but Fiddlesticks and Malzahar, in my opinion, counter her quite well because they render her useless with the press of a button. Overall, I have to say Fiddlesticks is becoming a very scary champion one that I personally will be looking out for and a champion that I would be also banning or picking in most of my games, if not all of them. But here are the runes, masteries and overall build whenever playing fiddlesticks in the jungle for this current patch. Next up, let's move over to the top lane and the first champion we'll be talking about is Echo, I mean, this this guy's everywhere. 
But Echo has been a dominating force for several patches right now. He's gotten nerfed several times, but he's still very, very strong. He's still played very often, and he still has a high win rate. It really just seems like there's no stopping this guy. I mean, people are still playing Tank Echo. They're still absolutely dominating their games, and he's still very hard to play against. Now, until Riot somehow finally nerfs him to the point where you just simply do not see Tank Echo anymore, and you see AP Echo only, then he will most likely not be on this list. But until then, I mean, he just has to be on this list. He's just so darn strong. Sunfire and Iceborne just work well on him. He has a stun for an assassin type champion. He's got a lot of mobility. He's got percent damage. He's got a lot of base damage. He has an ult that heals him, which for a tank gives him a lot of effective HP. I can go on and on and on. He's very strong. Ban him. Play him. That's all you need to know. But if you somehow do get him in the top lane, then here are the runes, items, and masteries you can use to play him to success. And yet another champion in the top lane that is still very strong, that still has not received any nerfs, is gonna be Maokai. He was in the last list, and he's gonna be in this list. I mean, he did not get nerfed, the top lane champions overall did not really get changed, so for the most part, it's still relatively the same, and Maokai is still very, very strong. He seems almost impossible to kill once he gets to a certain point in the game, because he's not only so tanky, but he gets so much healing from his passive. His twisted advance gives him invulnerability frames, being able to outplay people and dodge literally anything, and he can also snare the targets, CC them down for a long time, his ultimate in a team but if used correctly can be absolutely game changing. And to me, whenever I'm playing solo queue or just League of Legends in general, if I see my top laner is playing Maokai, I have to say I am very happy. I know this is a champion I can rely on. I know this is a champion that even if he falls behind, he'll still get to the point where he'll be very annoying to deal with. He's just overall a safe pick that even if he falls behind, he'll still be very strong later on into the game, and if he gets ahead, well, you better hope he doesn't get ahead. But either way guys, here are the recommended items, runes, masteries for playing Maokai in the top lane. But let's move over to the mid lane where there's two champions I'll be talking about, the first of which being Zed. So Zed next to Malzahar has the highest ban rate this patch. And that's not really all that surprising since the recent changes to QSS where they can no longer QSS Zed's ultimate is making him a very scary and risky champion to let through. I will admit that I was a little bit surprised that his win rate didn't really go up all that much, at least not to the point that I thought it would. So did this QSS change make him insanely overpowered? Well, it's honestly a little bit difficult to say right now. But what we can say for sure is that he's still a champion you want to ban 100% of the time. He's just simply too risky to let through. Since your ADCs can no longer do anything to stop his ultimate and Zed is essentially designed to destroy the ADCs, he's just not a champion you want to face right now. I mean, whether or not he has a high win rate, it's just way too risky. His landing phase for the most part is still quite strong even though his W did get nerfed a few patches ago and Zed is still Zed. So for the sake of the QSS changes, I'll definitely put him in this list and I'll give you guys also the recommended items, runes and masteries whenever playing Zed and somehow getting him through the very high ban rate. But following Zed, we'll be talking about another mid lane champion that can also be played in the top lane, Ryze. He was in my last video for patch 6.8 as a must pick or ban champion and nothing changed to him so he's still here ready to go. He's been getting more and more popularity but for good reason. If you ever face a very strong or skilled Ryze player then you will be absolutely begging for mercy because he will be annihilating your HP bar the second he lands one W on you with his full combo. He's got a lot of potential, he's got a lot of ways to combo his abilities, he has insane amount of damage, he scales really well, his laning phase really isn't as bad as I feel like it should be, and Ryze is a scary champion. So I either recommend you guys ban him out or learn to play him because he's really strong. And up until Rai decides to nerf him down a bit, I'll be continuing to put him on this list. But either way guys, here are the runes, the items and masteries when playing Ryze.
And the final champion I'll be talking with you guys about in this video that's also a must pick or ban is gonna be Tarek. This guy is still absolutely nuts. I mean, his stun is really strong, he has great healing potential, he scales really, really well, and his ultimate is absolutely game changing. It's almost to the point where if you thought Kindred ultimate was annoying and difficult to deal with, well Tarek is probably just as bad if not worse. Now the only bad thing about Tarek is the fact that his laying phase is a little bit subpar, but that changes in just a few levels. In a team fight, I think Tarek has to have the best or the highest presence of all support champions, again because he can have his W on an ally, have AoE heals in two separate areas, having the double stuns come out with a lot of potential to change a team fight. And his ultimate, the fact that it can be applied on two champions in an AoE around them, I think is what really makes his kit just way too strong. Overall, I do think Tarek right now is the best support champion with the most presence, so you definitely want to ban him or pick him up for your own team. And here are the recommended runes, items, masteries whenever playing Tarek. But that is about it for this video guys, I mean there you have it, 8 pick or ban champions for patch 6.9, just one extra from the previous patch. All of these champions at the moment I think are really strong, I'd be happy to have any of them on my team and I'd also be happy to see them banned because I just don't want to face them. But either way guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video, if you did don't forget to hit that like button, comment below which you think to be the best champion at the very moment in patch 6.9, make sure to subscribe if you haven't, share this with your friends and big shoutouts to pro guys for helping me edit this video. Thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you for the next one. Peace.